If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 128 of my player here on FIFA 15. We start with the second leg of the Europa League round of 32 against PSV as you can see upcoming. We had the first leg yesterday. Uh, I won't spoil the result, but uh, obviously if you want to check that video first before watching this one so that uh, you're fully up to speed before we head into this second leg, then of course feel free to, uh, to do so. And we follow that PSV game with a game against Sevilla in the league. Uh, we are currently second in the league, I think, just above Barcelona, just behind um, Real Madrid, although we may still be slightly behind Barca. I can't quite remember. I think actually we may be third and a point behind Barca. I'm not sure. But uh, regardless, we'll uh, jump into this game against PSV, try and get a decent result and get ourselves through to the next round of the European competition. And then we'll jump into the game against Sevilla and uh, fingers crossed get three points there as well. Of course, as always, if you enjoy the video, then feel free to hit the like button and uh, of course subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the uh, the channel grow and your support is very much appreciated when you all drop the, uh, drop the thumbs up. But uh, of course, let's jump in then and we'll try and get some goals as well as some points and a cut progression in Europe. Pjanic into Gabi, he's got Mandzukic in front of him, I'm still in space on the edge of the box here and he's going to use Pjanic, who might use me, he has done, oh, not too much space there, we'll get the shot off, good save by Zoot, and away cleared by Jeffrey Bruma. well that was a decent opportunity, I couldn't quite free the space up to get a proper shot on goal, but we did at least have the effort, and uh, good save by the goalkeeper, we'll try and work another one, I'll try and feed in Pjanic here, didn't quite work, but uh, he has managed to get the ball, the Bosnian, and he's going on a nice run, Oh, I thought he was going to shoot there himself. He hasn't. We'll try a little scoop turn. We'll have the shot ourselves again. Another save by Zoot. Mandzukic can't quite get there. They're going to clear it away. They are. Well, decent opportunity then in the opening few minutes. But uh, unfortunately, no goals to add to our current 4-0 aggregate lead. Checho Willems with the throw. Big throw. Looking for Adam Meyer. Flicks it on to Wijnaldum. He has the shot. Good save down low by Yana Black. And it's going to be a corner to PSV. Obviously, as you can see in the top left, we are 4-0 up from the opening leg. And, of course, they're four away goals as well. So, uh, PSV really have a, a massive task up against them here in this one. They, at, they need at least four goals just to take it to extra time. And if we score one, they're going to need five. But I guess they need five anyway, really, to win it in 90 minutes. So, of course, uh, if we score, it doesn't really change things. They still need to score a minimum of four and, uh, if not, beat us on aggregate by uh, by scoring just outscoring us total over the uh, the two legs because uh, four away goals would only take us as far as extra time which is ridiculous really considering the uh, the state of the first half in the first game which was so very very even but a uh, second half a monster display from us gave us the uh, the big victory in the first leg we get this piano so unfortunately I didn't Oh, it's Gabby. Didn't quite get my run going as I wanted it to, but uh, Koke's found me. Bit of space. There's the shot, and Zoot again with a good save, and PSV will clear. 15 minutes in, we stay at 0-0. We're going to get a free kick here on the edge of the box. Pjanic, I presume, is going to go for a goal from this range. You can see how much of the goal he can see there. I'm going to make sure that I can follow it up, though, should it come back off the goalkeeper. But it doesn't need to come back off the goalkeeper because Pjanic has smashed that into the back of the net. We saw from the uh, the angle behind the uh, the actual free kick taker there before he took it that there was so much of the goal to aim at on that right-hand side. All he had to do was make sure he got it up and over the wall. He did exactly that. Oh, perfect angle for it as well, the one that we saw from before. See the free kick up over the wall brilliantly, almost around the wall as well. Spectacular free kick from the Bosnian. It's Atleti won. One at PSV nil and 5 nil up on the aggregate now. We are definitely going through to the next round if we weren't already sure of that after the first leg. Pjanic to Gilavogi. Come on at half time for Gabi. Manager clearly trying to rest Gabi for the upcoming game against Sevilla, which is obviously an important one. Difficult opposition, Sevilla, actually, to uh, to play in La Liga, especially when you really could do with three points. But Gilavogi gets that nicely around the corner to me. Squeezes to Mandzukic. Nice little one-two. Oh, Miralem Pjanic has the opportunity to grab himself a brace. And he probably won't have a better opportunity all game to get a second goal. All he had to do was slot it nicely into the corner the same way he did with the free kick. But unfortunately, despite a very well-worked move, he isn't able to do so. Arias down the right-hand side for PSV. Really poor pass, though. Gilavogi will win it back. But then Memphis takes it off him. Tapai heavily involved in everything that comes forward for uh, PSV, as you might expect. He and Narsing link up here. They're both extremely rapid. Might get the cross in. He does. Look at here underneath it. Tries to flick it on, but it's a simple save for a black. 
Elamark into Luke de Jong out wide to Jetro Willems. Luke de Jong is good in the air, so if Willems can get the crossing, which he has, they might have a chance here to get a goal. Obviously, they're not going to score five in the space of the next six minutes, but perhaps it might be nice for them to actually get themselves at least one consolation goal over the course of the two legs. Arias trying to work something, but again, they just can't get past our defensive line. We've kept them out so brilliantly well, but here's Josip Zoom. But again, uh, that final ball just isn't good enough for PSV, and with less than five minutes to go, we are cruising through to the next round of the Europa League. Final whistle's gone then. A, uh, a simple task well executed, I think, in this uh, second leg of the Europa League round of 32. Progression through to the round of 16. Thanks to a 1-0 victory on the night and a 5-0 victory on aggregate, we were pretty much set up after that first leg yesterday. But a brilliant free kick from Pjanic, just putting uh, the, uh, the final seal on uh, what was a couple of very good performances. What we need to do now is build on that in the league against Sevilla. Arsenal are through against Besiktas. I remember that was 2-2 yesterday. Uh, into a 2-0 winners against Colombo. I don't know what the leg, the uh, score was in the first leg of that. Roma win 2-0 against Lokomotiv Moscow and they lost 1-0 in the opening leg of that. I remember seeing that in uh, yesterday's episode. So a couple of very good teams still in the draw but uh, we've got a very good team up next in the league as well. It's Sevilla. Are we at home or away? We are at home. Time for Sevilla to visit the Vicente Calderon now. Maybe we can get another 1-0 win. Who knows? Here's Manquillo. There's not really too many options on for him here. I just pulled short and then he decided to turn the other way. But he's found Alessio Terzi. Not really too much happening so far, but Terzi might be able to create something here. That's a very good tackle. It was not worthy of a foul either. It was a brilliant tackle to hook the ball away. And referee's given a, a free kick. Terzi to take it. He's not going to shoot from here. He is going to dink it up. Can someone win the header? Whoa. Oliver Torres with the header. Decent effort there. He's not the tallest Oliver Torres, but he got up well there. Just couldn't quite find the angle to get it inside that post. So he wasn't far away. Mario Suarez applauding the, uh, the attempt at least. So I think it's the first time we've played with Oliver Torres uh, in a competitive game at least. I think he was uh, here for a or was used in a couple of pre-season games. But he may have been out on loan this season. But he is supposed to be a, uh, a decent talent in a real life. Hotly tipped to become one of uh, you know the next breed to come through at Atleti, but we'll have to wait and see if he can actually do anything more than just that header in this game. Ava Benega on the breakaway, although we do have all four uh, backline defenders in the right positions, and actually Gabby's closing him down as well. But Svan Krzyzowiak, he finds Kevin Gameros. Come on for Carlos Backer after he got injured in the first few minutes and draws a good save out of Jana Black after 24 minutes. They might get the chance from a corner here, similar to the way that we created one from that churchy free kick earlier on. The corner comes in, the keeper's not come for it, it's towards the back post. Gabby's flicked it on and uh, they're going to get the throw in. We'll see if they could create something from this quickly before we end this particular highlight. Vitolo with the throw. It was a nice move that uh, led to the Kevin Gamero shot and uh, they might be able to use Gamero, uh, Gamero again. He is in the, in the middle waiting for the cross. Vitolo not going to get it into him, but Tremolinas might do. Here is the cross from Vitolo. Finds Wanze, but we're going to get it away. Pressure and uh, danger over. Oliver Torres feeds me in well. Get past that defender. Mario Suarez, I might be able to use that run as a decoy to then get the shot off. It's deflected. Oh, cleared off the line by Ari Bass. Really good defending. The goalkeeper couldn't quite get a decent save on it. Got some contact on the ball, which made it go up in the air. But it definitely was going to dink and drop over the line into the back of the net. So it needed Ari Bass to run back there. That, so close. Just a couple of inches away from being 1-0. But uh, we stay at 0-0, and in fact they're going to get the chance at the other end, perhaps no. Manquillo and Leo Baptista were able to, uh, between them, get the ball away. Gabby, a call for through ball. I'm going to need some support though. We'll try a turn inside. Uh, we'll lay it off to Churchy. Obviously he's left-footed, he's hit the bar with his right though. Brilliant strike, Hit hitting it first time, comes back off pretty much the angle of bar and post. That's the closest either side has come to a goal so far then. Whiskers away. That and the uh, the chance that was cleared off the line are uh, clearly the best opportunities either side have had in this game to this point. But so far, no goals, unless Mario Suarez can get on the end of that cross, which he can't. Torres, up to Suarez, back to Insua, playing it about nicely. Do play some really nice football here at Atleti, it has to be said. It's definitely the, uh, the best club we've been at when it comes to uh, entertaining and free-flowing passing football, which is the way I like to play football. But... We haven't gotten ourselves a goal so far in this game, regardless of all the good play. Mandzukic might be able to get a cross in or call for it. It's coming. Can I beat the goalkeeper to it? No, I can't. Fernando Muslera comes out and claims well. It's been uh, a, bit, a bit of a, an end-to-end -end game, but not really too many clear-cut chances other than the, uh, the two in the first half. 
We'll try and get ourselves a goal though in this second. Throw in for Sevilla. Kevin Gamero and Ava Benega linking up. Oh, skips over it, Benega this time. Tremolinas with nice feet. Benega into Vitolo. Completely shattered Vitolo. I'm not too sure whether that took a deflection there, the uh, the cross. But regardless, I'm, I screamed for it on the halfway line because there was just me and one defender back there. But really taking his time here, the goalkeeper. It's going to go to Mandzukic. He can't win the ball, but it might drop in behind. Can I get there? No, Tremolinas covers very well indeed. And Cecinio will bring it forward again. Look at the... We've got like a back six right now. That's a nice flick on header, but a black is a simple save. The second half has been quite dead, unfortunately, thanks to just the negative tactics from Diego Simeone. We've been pretty solidly sat on part the bus, and we haven't really had too many chances to get forward in this second half to create a decent opportunity. And when we do get the ball forward like that, it's not the best of balls for myself and Mandzukic to feed off. So uh, it's been a disappointing second half, really, after we came so close in the first half with the ball cleared off the line and uh, the shot off the bar. But... In this second period, barely any chances whatsoever, at least at uh, one end. And to be fair, Sevilla haven't really created much at the other either. But we did get a simple task done in the first game, so I am pleased with that. If we can catch them on the counter-attack here, because I am on my own at the halfway line. So if we do win this off them, if I can call for this maybe, get it away. I'm screaming for it. It's going to drop to Aribas. He's going to try and play it in again. It's going to go out for a goal kick, which means they're going to get their defenders back. And I'm not going to get the opportunity to catch them on the counter. We've moved up to defensive, but that still isn't going to mean that uh, they're going to be too willing to get the ball forward. And you presume the referee's whistle is going to go sooner rather than later. Mandzukic, oh, if he could have just flicked that round the corner to me, we could have had a chance. We're back to park the bus. Final whistle goes at the Vicente Calderon, and we're going to get a nil-nil draw here at home against Sevilla. We definitely had the good chances in the first half to get ourselves a lead. Unfortunately, though, they uh, they didn't cross the line, which is the most important thing when it comes to the scoring goals. So a nil-nil draw. Barcelona lose, though, at home to Malaga. That's a very important result. And actually, Malaga took points off Real Madrid in the last episode as well by uh, drawing with them. We are now uh, still one point behind Barca, though, unfortunately. And uh, our goal difference is very inferior as well. They've scored a lot of goals, Barca and Real. But uh, we sit one point behind Barcelona and seven points behind Real Madrid. But crucially, we're still three points inside the Champions League spots. Although actually, I think there are four Champions League spots this year in La Liga. There were only three last year, weren't there? I can't quite remember. Oh, we weren't here last year, were we? We were in um, we were in Italy at Napoli. And there were only three European spots at Napoli. Or were we were in Manchester United before we were here. I think we were at Manchester United. I cannot remember. We've been at so many clubs in this series. I think we were at Manchester United before this one before we came to Atleti and I think it's so hard to tell I'm having to like bob my head up and down it's so hard to tell what uh, colour the blue lines are but I think there's four Champions League spots indicated there and then two Europa League but uh, regardless it's clearly just my eyes playing with me but we are going to uh, unfortunately have to settle for third right now but we will come back in the episode on Tuesday against Viacano and uh, the next game we'll see if we've been drawn in the next round of the Europa League we have against Manchester City well that's not going to be easy but we'll have Viacano and Osasuna on Tuesday and then City and who's that uh, Valladolid on uh, on Thursday's episode but that will bring today's episode to a close thank you very much for watching guys drop the video a like if you enjoyed of course subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days I will be streaming FIFA 15 career mode over on Twitch tonight so definitely check the link in the description to that follow me on Twitter as well and I'll see you next time